Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So recently I just found an amazing free tool, uh, kind of a utility and optimized tool uh, for Windows 11 or you can even try for Windows 10. I found this through a, a YouTube channel, Kilobyte, and even I found on an article. I really love it and it works very perfectly. It gives you many advanced options and the best part is I found really safe. I tried on multiple machine and I did not have any problem. All right, so let's see how exactly this work. So the tool name is Rytune X and you can download this from the GitHub page. I will leave the link in the description. And once it get downloaded, you can click on the downloaded file. You might get this kind of a screen. So click on I agree, click on next and click on install and the installation will be started. All right, and the tool will be coming up. Now on the very beginning, probably you will be getting this kind of uh, notification pop up that says it's highly recommended to create a restore point before making any changes to your system. Would you like to create a restore point? So you can click on continue and you must go ahead and create a restore point and it's already been done. Click on OK. OK, so this is how exactly this tool looks like. As of now, this is a light mode and let me change it to the dark mode. So if I go to settings here only, I can find the option. All right, so it looks better. OK, so in the home page, uh, you can find all the detail about your CPU, GPU, all those informations. On the left hand side only, you see many options like optimize, repair, debloat, privacy, feature, networking, security. So let's see all of them. First, let me click on optimize. And in the optimize, it says disable menu show delay. And the best part is each and every feature here give you the detailed information that what exactly it does. And below it says control the delay before menus appear after a mouse hover up. Disabling this feature can make the menus open instantly, improving responsiveness but may reduce user control. So generally, when you hover up your mouse on any of the information uh, to view the preview, let me show you. Like here, if I hover up my mouse, before displaying the information, you can see that it takes a lot of time. That's a response time. And if I want to uh, reduce it, I can just disable the menu show delay. I'm not sure whether it will uh, respond immediately or not, but next time I think it need a restart. So basically you can go and try disabling the menu show delay. Then you have disable mouse over time. Next is disable the background application. And again, this is a very useful feature that will be helping you to disable all the background application, the Microsoft store application uh, that run in the background and uh, occupy a lot of resources. So it's really recommended that you should go and disable them. Next is to disable the remote assistant. So if you don't use any remote uh, features like uh, sharing your computer remotely, then you can go ahead and disable it. Disable Windows Shake. If you don't use the Windows Shake, then you can also disable it. Add copy, move context menu. So basically it says enable additional option in the file context menu to easily copy or move file to a new location. Now this time if I bring up the file explorer and if I make a right click on it, I only see these options here. You can have a look here. But now if I enable this option and again bring up the file explorer and right click on it. So you can see I find a new option here, copy to folder and move to folder. And if I click on it, so it works perfectly. So wherever I want to copy this folder or any of the file, now I can directly do it from here only. So useful feature that you can enable. And so there are many other options. Enable low disk space check, increase service timeout, uh, disable the remote registry that you can again disable, hide file extension and hidden file, uh, disable unnecessary services. Now you might have seen many of my videos where I have recommended to disable many unwanted services that you are not using. They are still running in the background. So you can disable them in order to increase the performance. And it also says the same thing. Optimize system performance by disabling the background services that are not essential for your device operation. But it doesn't give any information that what services it will be disabling. So either you can do it manually or you can just go ahead and Enable this and check that what kind of services it disable. Now I'm pretty sure that it will not be disabling any of the services that uh, harm your system. So you can try this option as well. Optimize system profile, enhance your system performance by adjusting the system profile setting. So you can go ahead and enable it. Enhance GPU and priority settings. Again, uh, you can enable it. Disable frame server mode. Adjust low latency GPU setting. 
uh, you can enable it that will be basically adjusting the gpu to fix your latency uh, to improve the gaming or the video performance so if you have a good gpu you can just enable it set non best effort limit disable sysmain so this is sysmain again it's a service so if you're using the ssd then you can try uh, enabling it or else you can uh, leave it as it is enable the gaming mode if you do the gaming then you can enable it compress your operating system so if you are running out of storage and you want to reduce it uh, by compressing your os then you can also do that i personally don't recommend it uh, but if you want to try you can give a try and so you can see that it gave you many options disable the paging i won't say that you should disable it especially if you have a uh, limited uh, ram on your pc optimize foreground app performance you can check this as well disable system restore Disable Cortana, which I believe is already being disabled on Windows 11 now. Disable Store Update, and if you want that, Microsoft Store uh, should not automatically update the applications. Then you can also go ahead and just disable them. Disable Automatic Update, and if you want that, there should no automatic update. Then you can also use this feature. So these are the options that you get in the Optimize, and you can see that it's a huge options that you get over here only. Next, you have the Repair where you can run multiple command uh, using the graphical mode now so if you remember in order to fix your windows uh, boot problem or any kind of issues you use the dism and the sfc and the chk dsk command for which you have to bring up the command prompt and then you have to run the command but now you can do this uh, using graphical interface so you just need to check this option and click on repair or scan whatever you want to do and you can see that it says repair in progress. So once it will be done, it will let you know. Similarly, in the diagnose option, you get the battery health option. You can do the memory diagnostic. You can do the disk optimization. And if you click on optimize, uh, the disk optimization page will be up. All right. So these are the options in the repair. Then you have the deep load, another useful feature. And once you click on deep load, it will list you all kind of bloatware that is on your Windows 11 like Clipchamp, uh, Microsoft OneDrive, Bing News, Bing Search, Bing Weather. So these are the bloatware and probably uh, you're not using it, but it's still they are on your device occupying the storage and even they uh, occupy a lot of resources that make your computer slower. So what you have to do now, very simple to use it. Just select all those bloatware that you want to remove and once you will be done, on the right hand top, you will find the option uninstall selected application. And once you click on it, it gives you the detailed information that what all it will be uninstalling. So click on continue and get rid of all these kind of bloatware. So very simple to use and very easy, very helpful. Next, you have the privacy where you can uh, maintain your privacy by disabling all these uh, telemetry and the advertising IDs. So if you want to disable the advertising, just enable it disable the bluetooth advertising yes i also want to do that disable the news and interest i have no problem to disable it disable a spotlight feature uh, disable tailored experience yes i can disable it if you want to read about it if you're not sure about it you can also google it and then uh, you can disable or enable the options only thing i would recommend you guys before making any changes here if you're not sure about it just get assured by just reading about it in the preview here or you can just google it that what exactly it does and if you're not sure just leave it as it is disable the telemetry services i can disable it edge telemetry i will disable it i don't need any kind of telemetry so even you get the option for all the browser here like firefox chrome whichever you have installed disable online speech privacy so you can go ahead and disable them location features i don't use the location on this pc uh, i don't even use the biometrics i will disable it so it will all depend on you that what exactly you use and what you not disable automatic restart sign on uh, disable input personalization so all kind of advanced options are also being given here next we have the features disable the windows transparency and if you don't need any transparency effect between uh, like in the taskbar or in on any of the window so you can go ahead and disable it it will be surely improving the performance enable windows dark mode enable verbose logon disable hibernation 
disable home group disable the print service if you're not using any printer you can also go ahead and disable it disable the search again it will be uh, fixing many problems and uh, it will be increasing the performance by reducing the cpu and the memory usage disable the game bar uh, i don't use the game bar to record anything so i can disable it disable my people yes disable the sensor service yes windows inc yes Disable the fax services. I don't use any fax service. Disable the sticky keys. Disable cast to device. Disable VBS virtualization based security. Enable the end task. Enable classic context menu. So if you're on Windows 11 and if you don't like the new context menu and you need the old one, the classic one on Windows 10, then you can also do that by just enabling this option. Move taskbar to the left. So let's see how exactly it works. Bingo. So the moment I just enable it, you can see that the taskbar, everything has been moved to the left hand side like Windows 10. Disable Snap Assist, uh, disable the widgets, disable the chat. Now I believe you can find that what kind of amazing tool this is because it gives you almost all kind of option you might be looking for. Disable the Copilot AI, you can also disable that. Then you have the networking where you can manage your network. Uh, like you can choose your interface you are using the ethernet or the wi-fi from here then you can change the dns server here and in the set custom dns if you click on the drop down you can see that all the servers are already being mentioned you can go with the cloudflare open dns google adguard so whichever you like the most i will personally recommend the cloudflare so you can choose it click on apply dns next you have the security so all kind of security are being mentioned here where you can manage it device all right so device information will be displayed here all the detailed information so hopefully guys you can find almost all the options here like disabling uh, and optimizing your tool disabling unwanted features debloating unnecessary applications so this is how exactly this tool will be helping you so hopefully guys you find this tool very useful very helpful let me know in the comment section and if you really enjoyed the video and found this tool very helpful, please consider liking and subscribing the channel and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.